Don't have to be out running on here. Okay, yeah, 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 there we go. We got Ben here, lined up very nicely. Paging Nicole Tran. Nicole Tran. Is she singing again outside? <laughs> Okay, well, um, we're going to start as soon as Nicole comes in. You let her know how much we missed her when she comes back in. So I'm going to hand a little handheld microphone to the first interviewee. And this is my favorite part, Don, so this will be very intense, but somewhat brief in the interest of time. Don, tell us what your club is. That should be on, is it on? Toastmaster Club 182 in Santa Rosa. Fantastic, Don. Yeah, very nice. So now this is your tough essay question. Don, you mentioned combination of motivation and irritation. How do you balance the two and choose motivation every time? I don't choose motivation every <laughs> time. I had all these thoughts of which you might ask me, and that was not one. OK, well, then I, the other thing I was going to ask you is, what does it feel like to have fifth graders really afraid of you? It feels really good. Okay, once again, for Don Hathaway! I'm going to slide them in one at a time, bring them on up here. Michael Alexander, please tell us about your club that you're representing today. Represent ARPD, Toastmasters in downtown Oakland. Thank you so much, Michael. And Nicole, we missed you. How about it? you'll give us a song later, right? Okay, very good. Nice thing. Okay, so with uh, that, you know, the idea of being shy and reserved, such as you're, and not wanting to share pain and frustration of your entire life and any major embarrassments from your grandmother, what motivated you to share that with us today? Thought it'd be funny as hell. Okay. <laughs> Your grandma will be proud. All right, Monica Sullivan. Please tell us the club you're representing today. I am representing Walnut Creek Toastmasters, which is in Pleasant Hill in Division B. So, Monica, I, I hate to ask this, but the holiday shopping season is upon us. What will you do? <laughs> Start very early. Make sure you have a plan, preferably with a map of the various stores. <laughs> Thank you so much. Congratulations, Monica. I accidentally gave away two previously. So Nicole Tran, come on down. Please tell us the club you're representing. I am representing Chamber Chatter in Pleasanton. So please elucidate for this excellent audience here. We want to make sure American commerce is safe. So how do you apply American business law in your daily life? <laughs> See, I have naturally, I have a personality of hilarity. And I also come up with a brilliant strategy of presentation and in order to get away and obtain very good grades. And I learned Americanization, globalization, and westernization. <laughs> very nicely done, Nicole Tran. Did she answer my question? Ben Parker. Ben, tell us about the club you're representing today. Okay, hold her. Southern Marin, which meets at the Round Table Pizza in Mill Valley. Okay, and what kind of pizza do you usually have? Okay. Well, I'm going to No, no problem. We get what didn't get fixed up. Nice. And Ben, I, I just have to ask this in terms of karma. Do you ever have any house guests visit you? No, I 
Nicely done, Ben Parker. Kevin Thornton, please tell us about your club. I'm from Biorethical Toastmasters up in Hercules, California. And this is a personal question, but once again, in terms of fairness for the audience and for the teenagers of America, what kind of teenager were you? I was the perfect teenager. Uh, yeah. uh, I never started any fires behind the shed. I never uh, climbed upon walls above Hoover Dam. That was somebody else. I never almost got my arm chopped off in an elevator. Um, and I never climbed up any trees and almost fell out. So I, I, that wasn't me. A great imagination for a perfect teenager, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Justin, 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 please tell us about your club. I come from Citizens for Better Communicators in Fremont. <laughs> And you want to be a better communicator because at one point you hit rock bottom. So tell us about that time when you hit rock bottom and what was her name was. I think it was so bad I repressed it in my memory somewhere. We're all friends here. Table talk is not for major energy surge, stomping feet, climbing, screaming, pounding, our seven healers speak the testament. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it was a great contest because your participation